It's Dean from Digital Camera Warehouse with you again. This time around I've got the new Fuji X-H2S. This is a really exciting new camera from Fuji and represents the new flagship of their range. With this new camera, Fuji have introduced a new 26 megapixel stacked BSI CMOS X-Trans sensor and the new X5 processor. Being a stacked BSI sensor brings a significant speed boost to the camera's readout speeds. This is at the core of what the new camera can do. The camera offers 40 frames a second blackout free shooting with the electronic shutter for with a full sensor readout and 15 frames a second with the mechanical shutter. This represents some of the fastest frame rates on the market, so it's really exciting to see this in the new Fuji camera. This provides more accurate autofocus performance and makes the camera ideal for sports and action shooting. Predictive algorithms were developed to deal with fast moving subjects and offer better zone AF tracking. It also improves tracking in low contrast situations. Both subject and face and eye detection was developed with deep learning AI technology. It recognizes human face and eyes, animals, birds, cars, bikes, trains. One of the features I really wanted to try out was the subject detection for birds. Bird photography is something I've only ever done once before, so I don't have a lot of experience with it, and I'd really be relying on the algorithms in the camera. And I've got to say, I was quite impressed with what it did. I went down to the local park, and just watching it grab the bird, grab the bird's head, and track it as it was moving along the ground, led to some really good photos that I don't think I would have naturally got without that kind of bird photography experience. There were some images where I grabbed birds in trees, grabbed them in flight, and it was really impressive the way it was recognizing the subject, tracking it, and really freezing that motion. So I think this is a great new feature in the camera. There's a number of quality recording modes on offer in the camera, both 422 and 420 color space recording. Internally, it can record 6.2K at 29.9 frames per second, 4K at 120 frames per second, Apple ProRes HQ, Apple ProRes 422, and ProRes LT. ProRes RAW on an Atomos device, or Blackmagic RAW on a Blackmagic recorder. These technological advances give you greater resolutions and a wider range of frame rates, greater bit depth and less rolling shutter. This is provided by the really fast sensor readout, which is 5.4 milliseconds. The battery will last for about 90 minutes when recording 6K and about 70 minutes when recording 4K 60p. There is no limit to the record time on the camera, so it doesn't have that artificial stop at 30 minutes. It can record as long as you have memory card space and the camera is not overheating. The camera has a full-size HDMI port, so if you do want to do that external recording as I've talked about, you can put it out through there. One of the things I also tested with the camera was that face and eye detect subject recognition. Um, I went into a dark situation to really challenge the low light performance of the camera. I bumped up the ISO and I was really impressed with how it could grab and follow me as I was moving forwards and backwards from the camera. The camera has two card slots an SD UHS-2 slot and a CF Express Type B. The camera's got a dust and weather resistant structure to it and operates between minus 10 and 40 degrees. So some great rugged performance in this new Fuji flagship camera. One of the other things to consider is the great range of Fujinon lenses available in the X mount. You've got everything from 8mm up to 120mm, which if you're thinking about that in 35mm full frame equivalent terms, is 12 to 1800. It's a huge range on offer across a number of great, really sharp Fuji lenses. I really like this camera. It was fun to shoot with. It's really well made. The subject detection modes, as I said, one of the ones I tried out was the bird photography. It's not something I've done much of, and it was really impressive how quickly and easily it worked. It's enjoyable to use. It's really nice to play with. Fuji have done a few, I suppose, design changes to the camera. Uh, they don't have the shutter speed dial. Uh, they've still got the, obviously, aperture ring on the lens. In terms of the ergonomics of the camera, I quite enjoyed shooting with it the way it's designed. I think it's a nicely built camera, great viewfinder, great screen, great tracking. I really would recommend it. I think it's a great addition to their range. If you're interested in finding out more about the camera and what deals we have on offer, please give our friendly call center staff a call and we can talk through the options with you. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you next time with our next review.